Oh, we're gonna, oh, and we're gonna almost spill all the Runny Ranch because this Tupperware lid does not stay on, apparently. Okay, that could have been a disaster. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. All right, y'all, haven't had a little Caesars pie in a long time. Haven't had a pizza pie on the channel in a long, long time. I do believe he's having a possible root canal tomorrow. Now, we'll elaborate on that just a little bit uh, and uh, have a little bite on this. I just picked up, a, it's called a hot and ready. You just walk in there, hot and ready. Let's see how hot and ready this is. I was going to get them to make me a fresh one, so it was extra hot and ready, but can't go wrong with a pizza pie, pepperoni for $7, so... You know, it is what it is. It does feel pretty hot and I'm definitely ready. And speaking of being very ready, he of course did it once again. He brought himself a tub of runny ranch, okay? So we're gonna, oh, and we're gonna almost spill all the runny ranch because this Tupperware lid does not stay on apparently. Okay, that could have been a disaster. What a save. Crack this thing open, see how hot it is. She does look nice and hot, to be honest. Honestly, it's perfect. Seems like it just came out of the oven. It does look amazing. Close up the top to keep it nice and hot. Crispy bottom. It is perfectly hot in all honesty. Right there. I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day. And I'm so ready to eat. And I'm enjoying one last dirty pizza treat before I think I'm going to be out of commission for a little while here, guys. Wow. That's really incredible, actually. Little Caesars is, uh, to be honest, I've, I've been craving it. I have no idea when the last time I even had Little Caesars was, but it's been a long time. I've been meaning to rip a Pizza Hut video, but I did one actually in the vehicle on a super hot day. But I had to have the windows open and the cross breeze blew against the mic. And it ruined it. This is amazing. I think I lucked out because usually they're sitting behind the till in the warmer. And she went to turn around to pull it from the warmer. There weren't any in there. She walked around to the back by the ovens and I heard her ask about like hot and ready's and he's like, oh yeah, they just came out. So I think I really lucked out. This is for all you marinara lovers out there. Obviously because I didn't order it specific to my standards, we're getting regular levels of marinara which I usually get light but look at that oh the my face that's a cheekburner pardon me a moment all right we're all fixed So yeah, I have a, uh, a, a date with the entodontist tomorrow. And basically, I've already been seen to assess that I either need a root canal or to have the tooth removed.
but he won't know until he starts getting in there. Because he said he can run into what's called a fracture. And if that's the case, the tooth cannot be restored. The tooth cannot be saved. And it must be pulled. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. It's either a uh, three to four root, root canal or, and then a filling and a crown after, or a pulled molar. Not ideal. Although a bunch cheaper, <laughs> just to pull the tooth. But then, if you ever want a tooth back, you have to get Um, a screw drilled into your mandible and then have a, uh, I don't know what they call it, like a false tooth, like a prosthetic tooth. <laughs> I don't know the technical term right now. Put in basically. So I'm sure that's expensive as shit. So tomorrow, oh, she's still hot enough to, 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 to uh, ooze. will be an interesting little adventure. That being said, this is my first ever, I've never had to do root canal or anything like that in my life. Always had pretty solid teeth. <laughs> never too much uh too much like stuff cavities or anything like that until now i don't really fear the dentist or anything like that i know it's going to be probably painful at a certain point for sure but you know grin and bear it I'm actually better with physical pain than I am with like emotional pain or yeah, like mental emotional pain. That shit gets to me more than physical pain. I've always been able to handle physical pain pretty well. Just cause I know it's, it's very much like fuck this sucks. But it's definitely gonna like clear up and go away. There's a real timeline on it. Whereas mental and emotional could just like, you could suffer your whole life kind of thing, <laughs> you know, with certain things. Look at this fucking bubble. Holy shit. Like, what is that even? Insane. Biodome in there. Polly Shore, Brendan Fraser, are you in there? Is Brendan Fraser in Biodome? No, I don't think so. I think that's Encino, man. Look at that. So, yeah, I don't know how long, depending on what happens, like. I'm gonna be on soup and broth and water and smoothies. And applesauce. I hate applesauce. For a while, I guess. I don't know. Shit. 
either way, it's gonna suck for a bit, but hopefully I bounce back quick. I hope. All right, for all you marinara lovers, look at the other side of this pizza. It's literally just like all sauce, piece of pepperoni, and the tiniest bit of cheese on top. I am definitely not gonna eat that. I heard seagulls. I think the seagulls are getting a marinara slice tonight because I can't eat a slice like that. I think I could tolerate this one and then we'll call it a video. At least the first couple bites, but when it starts to stack and wrinkle like liquid hot magma, <laughs> but liquid hot marinara, right there oh that's when it's all wrong i just got way too much in that bite i said that's all he can do with that pool of marinara i did see when i, I pulled up they have a, a chicago style pizza for like limited time and I like what well, because Chicago style pizza is gen generally marinara soup or pizza soup. I don't love it, but the one that they're advertising kind of just looks like a Pizza Hut pan fried dough. Like it's done in a in a, in a pan like that. It's that looks like it's oiled, and it doesn't look super deep. So I maybe try that. But I don't know, I'd have to inquire about the levels of marinara. Anyhow, um, I, I'm, I might be MIA for who knows how long. Because my mouth is going to be in shambles potentially. So, you know, just be glad that you're not having a root canal tomorrow. <laughs> okay, till the next one. Eat good, live well. Stay true.